What is going on, YouTube? It is All Things Mets Media, and today's video is going to be about Mark Fientos and should the Mets call him up to the majors. We're going to get into it. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get into the video, guys. This is where you get your latest Mets content. So Mark Fientos, guys, we know, um, you know, he, he, did, he was injured to start the season, and, you know, he came up late with the Syracuse uh, Mets. And guys, he's been raking. Honestly, he's been raking. Guy has he has 15 home runs, batting 251. You know, he has 83 strikeouts, which is a little concerning. Um, but I say, guys, the power is very, very impressive. Uh, Mark Viento's exit velocity is really great. He just he's one of the best exit velocity guys in the minors. Um, I say um Mark Viento's guys. Um, why not? I mean, why not call him up to the majors in 2022? I say, guys, um, it, should, it can't hurt. It really can't hurt the Mets. Uh, Dominic Smith, J.D. Davis, uh, there's days that sometimes they do good, and then there's days that they just can't cut it on the plate. So I would say, guys, to be honest, Mark Vientos is a guy that, you know, you want to, you know, succeed in the majors. And maybe I would say the DH role is not the best role to, you know, start your career. I would say that because he is a position player. He's a third baseman. But I say this, guys. Um, the Mets are in a position where they would love to have a bat like Mark Vientos or Francisco Alvarez being a DH, whatever it is. They need a guy. They need some production out of that DH spot. That is the weakest, um, you know, spot in the lineup for the Mets in 2022, that DH spot. And we know why. Because Dominic Smith, J.D. Davis have just not come through, have just not really done anything. Uh, you know, Dominic Smith got sent down to AAA, uh, you know, and he came back up. He started hitting, but now he's cooled off a little bit. You know, J.D. Davis has his days where, you know, he goes 4 for 4, and then he just has a day where he goes 0 for 4 with 4 strikeouts. So listen, um... I would say this about J.D. Davis. He's been hitting. He has, you know, has one of the best hard hit, um, you know, um, rates in all of baseball. Well, all, well, with the Mets, I would say. But I say this, guys, J.D. Davis, he's just not been cutting it. Uh, you know, it, it sucks to see that the Mets, you know, I know, you know, what's it called? That, you know, in 2022, before the Mets uh, season started, before the season started in general, everybody was like, let's trade uh, J.D. Davis. Let's trade Dominic Smith. And it was very understandable because it makes sense, you know, why they would want to trade a guy like that because they really didn't have a position for him. And yes, the DH came and everybody was like, oh, OK, he can DH. That's cool. They can DH. But guys, the production out of J.D. Davis this year Guys, this guy doesn't even have 10 home runs. He doesn't even have... He has barely hit a home run in, in, in you know, this game. Um, you know, it's just been pathetic. It's pathetic. I don't like to see, you know, J.D. Davis, you know, um, you know, I, I, this guy is a guy that has power. A guy that can hit the ball out of the ballpark. Why does he have, like, you know, close to home runs like McNeil? Like, come on. J.D. Davis is a guy that has way more power than that. And I'm not saying that he has to hit for power. But guys, he's, first of all, he can't even hit the fastball up. He can't. Um, you know, he just can't. He likes the ball down. Um, and I get it. He has a long swing. You know, um, I just don't, I don't know. I don't see really a future with J.D. Davis in the New York Mets. Uh, you know, the guy's still young, but he's just not cutting it. I don't know what it is. I don't know if the Mets, they have to, you know, the hitting coach has to change the way he's hitting. And it, it's a hard thing to do because the season is already, you know, almost to the second half. So it's going to be really hard to see what J.D. Davis, and, you know, and Dominic Smith do in that DH spot. But I say this, guys, I am not impressed with the DH production from these guys. So Mark Vientos, guys, I feel like it's a guy that, you know, can come up. You know, and, you know, give a, give, a, give the Mets a little spark. Why not? I say give the Mets a little spark. You know, in 2015, Michael Conforto, you know, gave the Mets a little spark. And it was very, it was, it was lovely, you know. So, Mark Vientos, I'm not saying that, you know, um, you know. Yeah, you're like, I would say, guys, Mark Vientos is a guy that, you know, it sucks to, to, to say, but, like, you know, you, you don't want to bring up a guy just to be DH, right? You know, you want him to, you know, uh, play third base. And I see this, guys. There is an opportunity for Mark Vientos to play 
you know, in the infield because Eduardo Escobar has been struggling this season so freaking bad, looking terrible at the plate. So it's not like the Mark Vientos would just be called up to be a DH. He could possibly play third base as well. He is a third baseman, you know. So, guys, I say, why not give him a try? I think this is, um, you know, the perfect time, the second half coming up. Uh, and I, I want to say this, congratulations to Mark Vientos and Francisco Alvarez on making the all-star, you know, futures game. That's awesome to see. Like I said, he had 15 home runs, guys, and he started the, the, the season late. Uh, 251 batting average, 83 strikeouts, which is I'm a little concerned about. But yeah, man, I say the power is impressive. Uh, this guy has that Pete Alonso power, and he he's not even a really, you know, a big guy. But I say this, Mark Vientos has a future, you know, with a team. I don't know if it's going to be with the Mets, but I say right now, why not bring him up? Let's bring up Mark Vientos. Let's spark this lineup because, guys, Dominic Smith and J.D. Davis are just not cutting it. All right, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, you know, if you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And, yeah, man, this has been All Things Mets Media. I love you guys so much. I always want to end my video telling you guys you can do anything that you want to do in your life. Don't let anyone stop you. And, yeah, this is uh, LFGM for life.